Wonderful. Hello, 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 ladies. We are so glad that you are with us. If you are ready to expand your business in 2018, and you are ready to leverage your time, your resources, and your energy, then you come to the right spot. I am here with Kiki Cornelius. Hey, Kiki! Hey, Kiki! Say hello! <laughs> we are here with some incredible women, and we're going to be talking about joint ventures, why they're important, what are they, and how do we incorporate them into our business. But before we jump in, we want to share our story and how we got here with these amazing women to share with you a strategy that will make a difference in your business. So Kiki, I give it to you. Oh yay, it's like my turn. Okay, so we're talking about joint ventures this week, literally because I was sick of being or hearing or being told the lie that women in business do not support other women in business. And sometimes in order to dispel a lie, you really have to go out and get true proof that the lie isn't proof. So what you see here is proof that the lie doesn't exist, that women really do support women and women in business. So all of these women have come to come on board with me to fulfill a mission, to really start a movement, to create a culture where women support women in business. And we really want to be the model for a, co a collaboration, a co-creation, a partnership. Either way, you want to come together with another woman in business. We want to show you how fun and easy it can be done. So I started with Pat as a co-host for me with me in Dallas for a retreat we're going to be doing on January 27th on the art of collaboration. And it, it's not that Pat wasn't enough. She's proof enough that this, this model works for collaboration. But it's just not have, just to have one person prove it. Like, boring, right? No. So then I talked to Bonnie, and then I talked to Carmen, and then I talked to Amy, and all the other women you're going to hear this week. And this vision, like, okay, it goes from wanting to impact one to 10 lives to now we can do thousands of lives. Yes. Okay, Pat, you know, you're going to have to keep me on, keep me on task today and breathe. make sure we stay, make sure I breathe because this is like, oh, uh, seeing the women's faces on screen makes me all happy and giddy inside because it's like proof that this works. Okay. Absolutely. So, yes, it is. So, it does work. So with that, Kiki, you man, you you've got some amazing energy, doesn't she? I mean, you just yes. love oh, yeah. just being around her, oh, and oh, I love that about Kiki. And oh, she wait. wait, wait, okay. So with all that energy, I forgot to tell you who I was. Like, who is she really? It says Kiki Cornelius, <laughs> but who is she? So I'm Kiki Cornelius, business coach and digital nomad. I help women create businesses that they can run from all over the world. Okay, and then you're going to hear that same thing from Bonnie and Carmen and Amy and Pat, and they're going to tell you who they are and what their superpower is. I, I, I thought, oh, I surely forgot because I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I am a Pat Alba Craker. I used to be Pat Alba Green. I just got married. I am a business coach. And I help women who want to escape the cubicle nation and get into their own business. And my superpower is that I have 35 years of corporate experience and I am a great project manager and I give women clarity and I can take them from point A to point B easily and effortlessly. And so that's my superpower. And I want Bonnie to tell us about her. What, your, how, what is your superpower and how do you help women? Well, my name is Bonnie McDermott, and I am so pleased to be here. Um, Kiki, you just, you're my favorite bolt of lightning. I, I just have to say that I'm so pleased to be part of this. Okay, uh, my business is called Wordsmith Inc. And I'm in the communication business. My superpower is helping entrepreneurs, and most of them are women, but it's helping entrepreneurs present themselves, their ideas, and their important messages 
at, to the very best advantage. What that means is they may come to me with a manuscript for a book. They may come to me with a presentation or a speech. And my job is to help them buff and polish the words as well as the way they present the words in such a way that they just shine. Wow. So think of me as That's the communications amazing. car wash. Oh, yeah. Buff, polish. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Well, you know, we can all use that, can't we? Anytime yes. we're, you know, our message is so important and getting that additional help and, and just do, taking that extra step to really make our, our message shine, our brand shine is so critical. So, so thank you for being on board. I want to go over to Carmen. Uh, Carmen, please introduce yourself, your superpower and how you help women. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Carmen Johnson and I am your body mind integration specialist. So I was a psychiatric nurse before and a holistic health practitioner for over 20 years in the medical profession for over 35 years. I help people, especially women, overcome the self-sabotage, the speed bumps in the road, whether it be mental holdbacks or whether it be physical holdbacks. Wow. So I help you see where it comes from, get to the nit and gritty, break free, so that you can actually see yourself instead of as the ugly duckling, as the beautiful swan that's ready to soar and meet your dreams. Wow. That is awesome. Mindset is so important, is it, Carmen? It is. It is. Help with Mindset mind. is so important. And then also finding out why, what's holding you back. There's a reason. Yeah. There's a reason. It's just not in your head. People say it's in your head. Well, part of it is, but let's get it out of there so that right. you can get free. Yay! Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. And now, Thank Amy. You. Hi, how's it going? All right. Woohoo! Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. So just to kind of give you guys a little background in my story. So when I was eight years old, I started growing this little tummy. And because of that, uh, for the next 16 years, I thought I wasn't good enough because of how much I weighed and how I looked. And I thought, I thought that my answer to getting love and acceptance was to fit in. And so I did everything I could to fit in, but I ended up losing myself in the process. And then once I started standing out in myself, I found the love of my life three months later. You know, I, you know, I overcame health struggles like fatty liver and, you know, I, I see, and I'm never letting her go. So in body empowerment coach, I help women love the bodies they have now and not the ones they're waiting for. Oh man, girl, what? sign me up. <laughs> We've got mind, body, and soul experts here. And yes. It does make a difference, right? Physically, how we feel about ourselves makes a difference in how we carry ourselves in the future. So, Absolutely. Man, we've got some great, oh, yeah. uh, power, powerful women here. Thank you. Know, just you. To get us, um, thank you so much, ladies. And to get us on the same page, I, I'd like for us to really define what uh, joint ventures are so we're all talking the same language and and kiki you're great at uh, definition so why don't you get us all on the same page okay so can kiki's dictionary for definitions for joint venture partners <laughs> <laughs> i wish i'd have had glasses on okay 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 <laughs> and if it's not fun don't do it do it <laughs> But my definition is really co coming together with someone else, another business, another um, like mother, another person, so that you can create something better than what you could have even ever did before. So it's really about getting together with someone who not only makes it helps you shine, but just because you connected their superpowers with yours, you're better than you're like a three time triple threat from what you were before. Yes. And it's about ex joint venture partners. I see them as ways to expand yourself and your being without having to actually physically be in another place. It's like, yes. it's like cloning on another level. <laughs> Better. <laughs> you know, we were Superpower about, cloning. Except the way, except when we're cloning. You were talking about, you were talking about Transformers. Yes, yes, yes. So it's like, <laughs> so 
joint venture partners, like, you know, the Transformers. So you get, get into like the Transformers. Sure, the cars are really cool. The robots are really cool all by themselves. But when they get, so they're like badass, right? By themselves. But you put them together and they're like, bam, unstoppable. That is a joint venture partnership. <laughs> Those were like Voltron, but okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yes. And, and the reason that, uh, you know, and I th thank you for that. So now we, we know the, the essence of the foundation of a, a joint yes. venture. And, you know, why are they important? They're important because as women, we have so many things to do in our business, in our lives, in our families. And it's important to be able to leverage our yes. resources. Yes. And when you start, it's going to really propel your business. And when you start looking at joint ventures, you're going to see a big difference in the growth of your business. And it's an important strategy to include in your business growth. And with that, I know all of you have done business, uh, have incorporated uh, joint ventures in your strategies. And I, I have this question for Bonnie. This is an open discussion on the, how we're using joint ventures. And I want to start with Bonnie. Bonnie, how are you using joint ventures in your business? Um, I would like to first add my own definition to what joint ventures are or to talk about my mindset. Yes. All right. So in my business, in the communications business, people come to me for, um, sometimes they come to me for projects. Mm -hmm. And so they'll ask me to edit a book or they will ask me to create a communication strategy for them or to write you know, a series of um, email, like an email campaign or something like that. So the risk is if I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to perceive all of my clients as joint venture partners, if you will, that we are collaborators. So Kiki, really what you said was the way I approach it. What that does for me is puts me in an equal position to my client. So then we are collaborators rather than me being a vendor. That increases my, um, my ability and their openness to me contributing to them more, you know, with analysis of what they're doing right now. It just changes the dynamic in really important ways. So I wanted to say that first because I think it's a powerful shift um, in, in my type of business, it's a powerful, powerful shift that um, that helps me be on par with my clients. And um, frankly, that that's the kind of working relationships I like to have. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. 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 So the um, so the really the question was how do I incorporate joint ventures into my business? Well, um, so there's that global piece of it. And then there is a more particular piece of it. You know, I have had a number of partnerships, if you will, or joint ventures um, over my career. And how I incorporate those into my business is that I, those are usually really key client relationships. So we will have a long-term ongoing relationship. One of my clients I've been working with for 20 years. You know, we started with her coming to me as a vendor, but over time, I developed some ideas and she gave me access, as you had said earlier, Pat, she gave me access to her network of people mm -hmm. to whom I could deliver the product. So she helped me with the creation, I created it, and then we sold it to her network. So that's a really good example of yes. how I've incorporated joint ventures into my business. And there are so many flavors of doing that. That's one amazing, uh, one flavor where you actually have a product that's going out. Yes, right? exactly. And it can be a service, you know, it can be uh, a number of different things that create the, uh, the joint venture. So I'd like to uh, turn to Carmen and I want, you know, how do we, how are you using the, the joint ventures and, um, you know, share uh, an example, a story? Wonderful, thank you. So, you know, it's one of those things where I've heard so many times that if you were a single strand, it's easier for you to be broken. But if there's your interwoven or a braid is very difficult to, to break. And when you think about the people who climb, 
the different ropes that they choose to use are not just the one strand. They use several strands. And the more strands that you are with, who are united, who have the same, not necessarily the same goal, but the same path, and you can be on the same road together. Yes. When we're interlocked, our elbows are interlocked, you know, uh, as a child, remember that, that game, Red Rover, Red Rover, send somebody on over and you try to break through the links? We're so much stronger together. Right. Now, in my practice and in my business, because of what I do, I don't advertise. I actually um, really get all my business from referrals, people that I meet. I go out and when I'm, I'm networking or I'm at different um, seminars, I'm looking for people who I relate with. Kiki and I hit it off right away. When I met Kiki, we were just, we were just attached after that. I've just felt like she was somebody that I connected to right away. Right Her away. crazy energy is so much like mine. And some people would, that might be put off by that. And other people are drawn to it. I'm one of the people that's drawn to it. And the people that you are going to join in, in a venture with and collaborate with, you're going to feel drawn to them and they're going to feel drawn to you and it's going to be mutual. Mm -hmm. And the benefit also needs to be mutual for both yes. so that you're not feeling taken advantage of exactly. or you're feeling shortchanged because this is business. Mm -hmm. Yes, our hearts in it are in it because we're women, but we're definitely in it together. I have almost all of my speaking engagements are actually joint ventures. There are people who have come to me as clients and I've worked with them either one-on-one -on -one or I've, I've given them my programs and they've worked with me and they have benefited so much so that then they introduce me to their group of people, whether it be I speak at women's churches, church groups, mm -hmm. a lot of um, women business groups, because whether it be business or personal or family, our mindset can actually affect our outcome. If you decide it's too hard, you're right. It's too hard. If you decide, I don't know how to do that. I could never learn how to do that. You're right. So you when you decide. Spanish? I don't appreciate that dig. I think she just digged on me. Not Cause I said, okay, I'm sorry. The, a squirrel me? just happened. Yes. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> this is what I <laughs> because I've been talking so much about how it, it's like I'm, I'm really having difficulties learning Spanish. You know, I've been over here in Spain. And then you just said, if you say it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard. I'm like, she all in my business. No, 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 no. <laughs> Because you know what? You would be the opposite of what I'm say talking about. Because even though, Kiki, you're so, see, this is why, not a squirrel. This is just perfect timing. This is collaboration. Yes. You, Kiki, are the opposite uh, the the perfect opposite of what i just said because if it was hard that mindset would keep you from doing it where are you right now kiki You're <laughs> it has not stopped you no and because the people that you surround yourself with who encourage you to do it even when it feels hard you, that is what collaboration is that is why yeah. we're here right. you my love are one of the people that are a perfect example of how your mind may tell you something else, but you're going to do it and you're going to prove that thought wrong and you're going to do it anyways. Oh, you know, De Debbie oh, Allen said that we can be international speakers because we don't have to know the language because there'll be interpreters there. And isn't that true? That, that right? Also, that I've seen true. it happen very often. Right? And, and Carmen, I love the way that, uh, that you're actually, uh, you know, approaching your joint ventures is that your clients actually end up opening the doors for you right. and for other future collaborations. And so, you know, we keep in mind, uh, we keep an open mind that anyone that we're talking to down the road could actually open a door for mm -hmm. collaborations. And it's, and in many times it's just saying, Hey, I'm open for, I'm open for uh, collaborating so you know any women or any organizations that we can collaborate with, I'd love to know about it, right? Yes, right. So yes. really worked well for you. Yes, uh, thank yes. Thank you for that. So thank, thank you. you.
Yeah, and Amy, how, you want to jump in and add to any of the stories here, or how it's oh, working? Oh my gosh, I have a story. So, <laughs> so okay, so back up maybe a year or so ago. Okay, so I joined this networking group where I met Carmen, and because of that that networking group, I Debbie Allen came to speak. And so she gave us all complimentary tickets to her workshop. So then we all went to the Debbie Allen workshop. That's where I met Kiki. And that's also where I met my current business coach. And then um, because of my business coach, my coach was like, hey, you need to show up on Facebook Live. And so I did. I've been like showing up consistently on Facebook Live Monday through Friday for the last six months, right? And then because of that, uh, someone else in our networking group who I never actually met in person before noticed me in the group. And she was like, hey, Amy, do you want to collaborate? Because I saw you want to do a workshop in San Diego. And I'm like, yeah, I would love to collaborate. She's like, great, I'm going to call the double tree right now. I'm like, okay. So, like, we're going <laughs> to – so now um, – so because of um, – collaboration I found my I found my tribe I found uh, my business coach I found my joint venture partner who I were doing a workshop this Saturday we're gonna do another workshop in January and we're gonna do a really big workshop in March it's just going to be called the body and soul the empowered woman oh I love it I love the title of that thank you thank wow. you and it actually worked out because like we were just talking about earlier with me like I am about the body right and so with uh, my collaborator she's she's more of the spiritual side so she can like add in her spirituality and her spiritual coaching into this event that we're going to be doing together mm -hmm. it's interesting it seems like a lot of it is timing yes, yes. Right? a lot of it seems to be timing being at the right place at the right yes. time in order to make yes. collaboration and being open yeah and so you all have had an opportunity to work with other amazing women so my question is how did you determine whether, how did you determine whether that was a good fit to work with that particular person? What did you use to guide you to get to, to the point where you say, you know what, I want to work with her? And, okay, and, and before what? you answer, ladies, was yours anything like, think about this when you go into it. When I approached Pat about doing a joint venture partnership, she went as far as sending me a survey first before I could even talk to her any further about it. So that's what she, that's what Pat means. She's just, just she's saying it the nice way, but really, how do you, <laughs> how do you vet or even approach or think about considering someone as a joint venture partner? What do you need to know? Well, Absolutely. Uh, for me, I need to know that they're motivated, that they're dependable. And like, like I said, when, when Barrett first, um, Barrett, my collaborator first approached me, she was like, okay, I'm going to call the double tree in right now. I'm like, okay, wow. She's like a go get it. And I had seen her, I had seen her. And this is a woman I only met virtually before. And we never really actually met virtually. I was like, I seen her Facebook post, but I saw like that. She was like, she had big dreams. I had big dreams. You know, she was motivated. I was motivated. She was obviously calling the double tree in already. I was like, okay, I guess we're going to do this now. <laughs> <laughs> so I need someone with the energy to like keep up with me too and also yeah. like because that person who has the energy like well I may be low energy sometimes too and so I need them to be like no Amy we gotta get up and keep going dang it <laughs> so so you you are able to um, assess what you need to keep going and where that balance is right because mm -hmm. her gift was that energy yes and you have another gift of uh and you you know like one of your superpowers that you talked about and that com combination of that of her energy and your superpowers just said this is this, this is work this is not work mm -hmm. this is working <laughs> this is happening the ball is rolling and it's tumbling and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we're just gonna we're just gonna write it <laughs> you know it's, it's like that saying jump you have to jump for the parachute to open Yes. You're right. And I love it. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. it seems like that's exactly what happened. And is that you know you notice that in in that relationship? Anyone else? Exactly. Anyone else want to add to that or how you vet? You know, the yeah. people you work with. For for me, I, I really think ahead of time of what my business needs, yes. uh, what I need, okay. oh my God, yeah. where my business is going, where I'm going. Do I need people who are going to help me spread the word, which 
all of us do. Mm -hmm. And I know my limitations. And I like my limitations. Just like I like my superpower, I like my limitations. I can't do everything, nor do I want to. Right. Tried that, exhausted from trying that, don't want to do it anymore. (laughs) So we are now focused, and we know what our superpower is. And then we see other people. And I see, I need somebody who's going to help me go to that next step. Because sometimes you get so stuck into where you're at that you need somebody who's going to help you get to your next step. Kiki, there is no box. She thinks outside the box. There's no box for Kiki. Mm -hmm. When you think of different people, my different collaborators that I have now, I am in the process of writing uh, several books and workbooks. And so part of my collaborative team, I have um, an editor and she's a developmental editor so she she's a word wizard i tell you and i'm sure bonnie a lot of people probably must call you a word wizard as well and you wizard and think about what you need in your business Mm -hmm. also when we see other people i look at and i listen i listen to what is it that you do for a living and then they tell me And I'm really interested because I may know somebody in the future who needs that service and I'm not going to provide it. So let's be honest. I'll send you business. No problem. If that person then asks me and is interested in what I'm doing and my business, then that's, that's pretty much the door is now open. Mm -hmm. There are so many networking things that I've gone to where I ask them and they give me their pitch and then that's pretty much where the ball drops. Yes. So if they're very self, self, then there's not a whole heck of a lot of room for collaboration. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the ways that I, it's like an interview. And, I, and I'm checking to see, am I going to go to the next interview with you? Yes. Are you interested in me? Or am I a person? Do or I are you just going to pitch day? me? Right. Yeah. Oh, Do you want a second really date? Yeah. Date yes. Mm-hmm. So what I'm hearing uh, Carmen, is that you're very strategic. Not only have you looked at your overall direction of where you want your business to go, but you're also very strategic in the conversations that you have with people. So yes. it's, being, it's being very clear on where you want to take your business and where the collaboration will fit in propelling your business forward is how you, is the approach that you look at. And you right. said it's so much better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> you have any final words on that, Bonnie? Hey, Bonnie. I do. Okay. I do. Um, I think both Amy and Carmen spoke to extremely important things. You know, just if I can say it, more global, um, global fit, if you will. So you know that you're a fit, uh, motivation-wise and character-wise, and so on. And I, I do also that, but I also go to the nitty-gritty, and that is what's the contract? What's our agreement? And Carmen, you actually alluded to this earlier. This is business. Right. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, what are we going to create together? Mm-hmm. Um, are the doors open for access to each other's network? How are we going to make money? Right. How is the money going to be divided? Right. And so on and so forth. So if I'm in the process of working through those sorts of questions with a person and I'm getting red flags, I'm going to back off until I know for sure that we're on the same page mm-hmm. and it doesn't make them bad or wrong if we're right. not. Yes. It's right. just, mm-hmm. they're yes. not mm-hmm. wanting to approach it the same way I am. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. thank you for bringing that up, Bonnie. Yes. I mean, yeah. I think sometimes we get um, apprehensive when we're dealing with other business owners as if no, like we're all in business to make money. None of us are sure we want to give to charity. We want to be a change in the world that no one else can be. But at the end of the day, we need money to pay our bills and take care of our kids and eat people. I love to eat. Yeah. So, <laughs> nothing yes. wrong with having a serious conversation with your partners about money. Yes. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, Bunny, if there's a red flag, then I mean, what, what's the problem? Like, let's talk about this. So, oh, I thank you for bringing that up. It's like, 
<laughs> Yay! So good, I can just. I, I love it. I love all it. Right. And these are all, you know, these are. Um, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I have to scoot now. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank what you, a Bonnie. Pleasure, and we'll Appreciate see you tomorrow. You. Yes. See you, buddy. <laughs> right. Thank you. And and these are all elements that we're going to take at a deeper level uh, down. Uh, the road on this in this week and definitely at the workshop so oh, definitely. all the critical success factors are coming to play here yes so, so obviously everyone here has uh has done joint ventures and we've all uh probably have some scars from it mm -hmm. and so I'm, i went open the conversation on you know what are some lessons that we can teach women when it comes to uh joint ventures and one that's really profound for you that you'd like to share I would like to start here <clears throat> and it's really going to go along with what Bonnie talked about and Carmen talked about is in like creating partnerships with your clients and the coaches that you work with and the professionals, uh, the vendors per se that we work with. And I'm going to talk about like what I would call, I agree that our clients are like our partners. We're partners in something. We're coming together to help. Sure, I have knowledge that you need, right? But it's for you. It's not for me to, right. it's for you to be at, at peace with this knowledge. So what I, um, I had a bad experience with a business coach one time where I just, I didn't know what I didn't know. So sometimes we have to figure out, no, like Carmen said, no. what do we want? What do mm -hmm. we need? Who can provide that for us? And then it's in educating ourselves on or being diligent and trying to figure out whether this person is really able to deliver on what you need or if you're just following another squirrel or bright, shiny object. Mm -hmm. You know, so I know that was really important for me when Pat sent me that, um, <clears throat> The, that questionnaire, her sending me that questionnaire told me that she was serious about actually coming into business with me and us co-creating something together. And I, she's serious because she wants to have a serious conversation about what my goals are, what my vision are, what do I really want to do for the women that we impact on this tour? I mean, yes. stuff that it's not like this. These are, the questions weren't hard questions. They weren't, they were questions that I should have known the answer to. Let's just be real. I, they're, if one stumped me, then I should, <laughs> then, you know, yeah, it stumped me. But um, I think in order to, we learn from those mistakes. Oh, yeah. And from those mistakes and from sometimes being in some unsavory partnerships with other women, we learn what to do next. We learn different questions to ask the next time around. But one thing we don't want to do is give up and say that you, we just can't do with business with women in business because we're, you know, all relationships aren't the same. It's just like, you know, finding a bad boyfriend or something or a bad girlfriend. Mm -hmm. They all don't work out sometimes, but we learn. So that's all I wanted to put in there for that one. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, Amy, Carmen, a uh, lesson learned? I didn't think about this. <laughs> you know, I, and I, while you're thinking, I'll jump in. Uh, one, the reason that I developed that survey was because I had an experience where I met this, I, I met this gal. She was Absolutely. You know, we had the chemistry, we got along, we had fun. We, we just really got along really well as friends. And sometimes you think that just the friendship is going to get the collaboration through. Right. And it really turned out to not be that way. We had different visions. We had different skill sets that really didn't come together well. And you, we, you, you don't, um, I didn't know that until I started feeling back the onion and started having daily uh, interactions with her on moving the project that I realized, well, you know what, I should have asked these questions mm -hmm. before I got started. I mm -hmm. should have asked what skills that she had or where, where, what her strengths were, what her, what her weaknesses uh, were so that we could have, I could have made a better decision. And right. I said, I won't, you know, I won't go through that again. So I said, <laughs> I'm going to come up with a list of questions that will enable shorten my time and really make me more productive in picking the, the my partners. That's Amazing. how that's yeah. It made yeah. total sense. Mm -hmm. 
So that was just, yeah, that was your lesson learned. Ask, yeah. Again, ask the question. <laughs> ask yeah. the question. Well, <laughs> uh, that is so great, Pat. I, I, we, I, I'm going to speak for myself, but I'm sure other people who are on this and are going to see the recording are going to want your contact information to take a look at that, um, you know, what you created, because really it does help to fine tune yes. that right. funnel. We, have, we, we can't pick everybody to be, you know, mm -hmm. in partners with us. No. So we have to really choose. Uh, for me, I had, um, and of course, no mistake is bad because they're wonderful lessons. They're priceless. For me, I had, um, I had built a practice where I was seeing eight to 10 people a day, five days a week, enough money, but no time to spend it. And so to bring in some people who could partner with me and so that the people who needed more of my skill set, my, my skill set, you know, after so many years, the people who couldn't be touched, the people who, I had a woman who her head was completely tilted upside down. She had gone to all kinds of different um, doctors. They had told her she had tortillas. She was going to, she had acupuncture. After working with her for four months, come to find out she had completely blocked the memory. One of her ex-husbands had put a gun to her head and pulled the trigger. It was a misfire. It's not that the gun wasn't loaded. It was a misfire. And by the grace of God, she lived. But her body still held on to that position. Mm -hmm. And it took quite some time to figure it out. So that's the, the level of my skill set. But I bring them in and lightening my load so that I could actually focus in on the people that needed to, right? Right. And before I know it, just like you, Pat, I started seeing the onion peel back mm -hmm. and I was starting to see, she was starting to say, well, Carmen's booked, but I could see you tomorrow. Well, Carmen's booked, but I could see you the next day. And before you know it, it was no longer a partnership oh. or collaboration. Mm -hmm. Then it was, you know, yeah. in my mind, this is theft. Yes. Even though we don't own people. Right. This is this is Integrity. not you know we're not watching each other's back. Integrity yeah. is huge. Yeah. Yes. Integrity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Definitely, that's on top of my list as well. So, Amy, any uh, lesson yes. learned? Actually, that now, now that I think about it, there was actually um, so a year or so ago, I actually had thought about going to copywriting, right? And there was a girl I knew who was a very good copywriter. I knew her because she had a very successful business, and we were friends. And it was just really, you know, I thought, and she was like, "Hey, come on to my team." So I, we were gonna make this plan for me to jump onto her team to start, you know, learning how to copyright and. Um, but what I also realized with her is that she had so many different dreams and was kind of transitioning her business into more branding. So uh, she was, she herself was get, becoming more MIA from her own Facebook group. She was becoming more MIA to herself. So, like she like um, would disappear for a long time and I wouldn't hear from her. And, and but then like every so often she would be like, oh, no, we're still going to do that. So this was like, I think over a period of seven months and I finally realized like, no, it's, it's just not going to happen. Right. And so, but I, 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 I let her string me along because I, not because I think she was trying to string me along, but because I think she honestly had the intention to make this happen, but because she got sidetracked with all these other things that were going on, that it was no longer priority, whatever partnership we were going to have. So I had to learn that like, well, you know, I should have like just been like, you know what, after the first month or two, after not hearing anything, I should have just cut it off. Right. Been like, you know what, you know what, if we're not going to do this, we're just not going to do this. And right. as opposed to like my heart being pulled along, be like, we're going to do this. Oh, no, we're going to do this. No, we're not going to do this. No, we're going to do this. Oh, no, we're not going to do this. Like, oh, like, <laughs> so no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry. You're not. Darn it. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, I keep giving you milk, but you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah, big lesson learned. Accountability is very important. Mm -hmm. you know, we covered quite a bit of material here. Uh, I'd like to open uh, uh, the, the floor, if you will, to anyone who has a question. So 
If you've got a question regarding anything that we've talked so far, this is a great time to submit uh, a Q&A on the chat box and uh, Kiki will monitor that, will monitor that and see, see what comes up that we can uh, you know, either further address or clarify or anything we've covered so far. So Kiki, we're, we're gonna stay open and if you, you've got a question uh, you know, that comes up, please, um, please let us know. I'm in there. All righty. Uh, so what are, you know, one of the things uh, about, and you, you let me know when something comes up and we'll stop. Mm -hmm. um, if you've never done a joint venture, the first, it, it's common for the first thing to think it's, it's hard, right? Oh my God, I've never done it. But if I make a mistake, you know, how do I get started? And so uh, what I hear from all of you is that you've been very mindful and in, in certain ways, you um, have to keep it simple. So I want to introduce the topic of how do we simplify you know, our lives in a way that our joint ventures are also simple, right? Because it doesn't have to be complex. And I'm all, all, I'm all about simplicity in the business, but there is a level of simplicity in working with joint ventures. So, you know, we've got any, uh, uh, any comments on that? Kiki, I know that you're, you're a, uh, a lover of simplicity as well. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Okay, other than, you know, keeping it as simple as if it ain't fun, I ain't doing it. Um, really keeping it simple is about knowing where my strengths lie and where my weaknesses start and knowing how to balance that with what I need to fulfill my vision or my goal and not what, and sometimes who, because people are resources too. And I don't, I want to allow the people around me to live and work and operate in their genius. I don't want to be trying to do what Carmen's doing with somebody's body, um, somebody's mind and body. I don't want to be talking to people about standing out like Amy does, you know, and whoo, Pat keeps me, <laughs> on in control so you know, <laughs> I need someone like pat to manage like okay kiki breathe and slow down and this is the way it's gonna go so <laughs> that's the project manager in me that's one of my that's my superpower is it's her uh, superpower so the thing about keeping it simple is allowing the people that you work with to do what they're good at because yes. That's why you ended up at their doorstep at talking to them about collaborating in business in the first place. It's because you saw something in them that would enhance something that you wanted to do in this world. So that's as simple as I can keep it. That's as simple as I can keep it. Anybody want to jump in? Um, for me, it was... Uh... It was mainly being visible, turning as many as I can. My business coach has a saying, uh, you know, connection is currency. And so when you concentrate on just making that connection, uh, I mean, uh, I love that Carmen, like, is very strategic with, like, who she talks to. For me, like, it's more simpler for me, just for me, that if I just, I'm like, I'm like, do you resonate with me or do you not? Do you resonate with me? Do you not? Like, do we, are we even on the same page? Period. And then, like, then we can go on there and be like, you know, I may not see you for a couple of weeks. You're still like in my head. You know, I still see you. Know, you know, we like, we in our heads, right? And that you are, you are just. Uh, you know, if I can't stop thinking about you, then I'll come back to you and be like, hey, I think I want to know more about you, and then continue the conversation from there and make it organically grow from there. So, and for me, if I go from an organic place of like, you know, okay. Do you resonate? And then we go on to continue the conversation, like like a second date, like we were just talking about. That makes it easier for me to figure out if you're a joint venture partner or a collaborator or, uh, or a potential client even one day. Ooh, so, okay, just on the end of what you said, because you, 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 you provided a perfect segue for me, Amy. And I'm going to take this question <laughs> that's in the top, in the chat box really quick, Pat. And it's from yes, Yashina. She says, do we consider collaborations, partnership, and joint ventures as the same thing? I say, my opinion is yes, 
They're mm -hmm. all about bringing your business and connecting it with someone else's to create something different, better, more, you know, yes. whatever the goal is. And what would be the purpose of joint venture partners as an entrepreneur? <laughs> So if I didn't cover this, oh my God. <laughs> so the, the, the purpose of joint ventures and collaborations and partnerships for entrepreneurs is a way to, oh yeah, I did, clone yourself as a business owner or a way to expand your reach without having to leave your computer. So say I could literally be on a call, I could be here in Spain every day this week at the same time and be broadcasting my message to all over the world. Just like we are here, I could yes. be doing this. I could do it, be doing this individually for Carmen's um, people on Monday, do it for Amy on Tuesday, do it for Pat on Wednesday, Tanya on Thursday, and Yashima on Friday. And instead of just my audience of a thousand people, right, I've reached an audience of another five, six, ten thousand mm -hmm. because I've reached out to other women to be to collaborate and share my message with their business. So I would say the purpose yes. of joint venture partners for entrepreneurs is to expand your territory the easy way, mm -hmm. the fun way, yeah. um, without having to worry, doing it all yourself. You don't have to do it all yourself. So, okay. Yes. It is. <laughs> yes. Yay, was that helpful? Yay. Okay, that's yes. awesome. Thanks. You got, a, you got a thumbs up on Yay. that. One. Thank you. Thanks yes. for really uh, providing that clarity because sometimes we need to hear the message multiple times, and yes. I appreciate that question. So yes. again, we're uh, we're having a discussion on simplifying, and uh, you know, Karma, when you think about your joint ventures, you know, what make what do you do to keep it keep them simple for you? For for me, when I think of joint ventures and collaboration and partnerships, it's sharing the love. And that's how I keep it simple is we're out here to not cause harm, but to help. Sure. And if not to help, and then, then to advance. Yeah. You know, once we're, once we're past the point of helping, which I think pretty much everybody who is on this panel is we are helping, but now we're going beyond that to advancing. Yeah. And so when I think of it, I think of the people that I, I can relate to best are the people who can, um, I pay attention to the people who are afraid of words. If they're afraid of words, because they're afraid of hurting my feelings or they're afraid of saying the wrong thing, then many times those are people who are clients before they're partners. Because I need somebody like you, Pat, who's gonna send me a list of questions, make it cut and dry, easy, the ray, right? We know where we're going, we know where we're heading, we have like-mindedness, we're getting along, otherwise there would never have been the next the second date like right. kiki said don't be the second date or the third date right. so always keeping my feelers open to how i can benefit you i'm thinking about of my people who could benefit from pat who could benefit from bonnie who could benefit from kiki right. and the beautiful thing about collaboration is i already feel that you're doing the same for me and when you feel that going on and it's not just a feeling in your heart it's actually being backed up by actions by words by eye contact by communication yeah. these are things that really keep it simple for me because we're on target mm -hmm. for different reasons but yeah. still on target to advance yes yeah. wow that's awesome yes very good. I know, right? Yeah. This has been like, yeah. what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this, though. Let me tell you um, another thing that's good, and this, is, this makes me so happy today, is because what no one knows is that I, for the last 24 hours, I've been having this, like, it's been really cold here. My body doesn't 
do well when the weather changes. And if it goes under 60, then this California girl via Denver and Colorado gets sick. So my glands are swollen, my ear hurts, it hurts to swallow. I'm like, I got to get myself together for this call. And it's just like you get, you, when you connect yourself with the right people, then you can do anything. So <laughs> I'm going to yes. thank you all for making me feel better today and just able to do this because I just feel the love and you didn't even know I needed it. You didn't even know. Whoa, I girl. <laughs> <laughs> so that and that's one of those like bonuses to joint venture partnerships because you there are things that sure we can plan for the things that we want to know about about our partners right the things that are important to us but there will be things that come up about them during your connection and during your communications that are going to be bonuses to working with them and yes. playing with them that you didn't even know were possible before it's like yes Oh, I didn't know that you could do that too. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, amazing. it's like, oh, she brought popcorn. Wait, it's got caramel on it. You learn a lot in the journey, right? You learn you a lot. Do. Yes. Journey. So, you do. Uh, one of the things that um, that I use to keep it simple is I I come back to why am I doing this? Mm. You know, mm -hmm. why am I doing this? Yes. And if, you, have if to. I, if you have to if I keep if I get lost track I, and you know I go down this rabbit hole I ask why am I doing this I'm doing this because of I want to make an impact I want to grow my business and when I keep myself focused on the why then it keeps it simple it keeps it simple for me mm -hmm. so that's uh, that's one of the secrets that I use on on how to keep it uh, how to keep it simple and uh, we well, we've got so many suggestions just on that just why I'm, I'm sure we could go down uh, this discussion on simplifying um, oh, life, you know, um, it's just um, Pat one yeah. of the things that you, when you talk about your why I have I have vision boards for every single year sometimes more than one mm -hmm. but really the vision boards and I and I teach vision boards I have summits for vision boards it. yes vision boards really are there like Kiki, when you're not feeling good and that poster is right there mm -hmm. that is going to tell me, keep going. And this is why. Yes. Do you remember mm -hmm. when you were thinking about this, when you were thinking about mm -hmm. this, when you were right. thinking about this, when we're caught up in the moment where we're not feeling good, when the bills are stacked up and it's not looking pretty, that vision board keeps that why uh, ever yeah. present. Okay. And mm -hmm. I cannot go a day without looking at my why. Oh, I agree, Pat. Right. I agree. Because, really, really, because really. sometimes you can lose yourself, right? And then you oh, need yeah. something to bring you back to mm -hmm. reconnect with why you started this thing in the first place. You need to go back to base one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah, we all know that there's there's shiny objects and there's squirrels and there's there's colds and there's flus and there's right. you know all right. kinds of different things. As women, we have right. so many hats. Right. And. We have to keep the the why in front of our eyes to keep us focused. Ah, I feel like yeah. I got my why in front of my eyes right now, looking at. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Kiki, <laughs> take yeah. us to uh, yeah. I'm going to turn it over to you and have you uh, sum it up and. Ah, okay, so I'm going to sum this up, and this is going to be one fantastic week. Thank you, yes. Carmen. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Pat, for showing up and helping me kick off this Art of Collaboration Summit because I believe it is an art and mm -hmm. we are creating a masterpiece right now together and we're going to be doing this all week. So I know that we're going to have people listening to the replay and we want you to know that if you want, if you know that you can't make it here with us early morning this week, shoot me and Pat an inbox and send us your email address and we will send you the replay. Um, and as Yay. Carmen and Amy, you guys, we're all going to, I'm going to tag you all in the replay of today's Yay. and we're going to put today out there so that everyone can see it and they can join us the rest of this week. So you thank guys, you. We all, Yay. Are all <laughs> this week is really building up to a big thing, a big event 
a nice little intimate retreat that Pat and I are having in Dallas in January, not just two weeks after I come back into the city. Oh, I know. So I get to, it's like I get to come right back in and be loved and hugged. And, and, and so on January 27th, Pat and I are doing the Art of Collaboration Retreat. So everything that you hear from us this week is going to be like, we're setting the foundation and starting to lay the soil for what we're going to help 12 women who are going to join us in Dallas Create. So I'm going to, I know that you can go to www.workfromanywheretour.com slash Dallas to get more information. (laughs) And I can't wait to see who joins us in Dallas because if they are anything like the women who are showing up and helping me with the panel, I cannot wait. It it, it, it just, this is like my mind blowing. <laughs> okay, and then oh oh Pat oh don't let me we, we I didn't want to forget I don't want to forget because Pat and I also have a another workshop bonus type thing that we want to tell you about too. Bonus, that's right. If you enroll in our workshop in the next twenty four hours, you will be part of a one hour session on leverage, leveraging your time leveraging your resources and leveraging your energy and those are this session is li- is limited to the women who sign up in the next 24 hours and like kiki said our workshop is our retreat is for 12 special women so we want you to be part of the 12 yeah. join us join us we want to make a difference in moving your business forward and if, if, if this topic resonates with you then we want we want you there. Yes, yeah. and so we Kiki, want you to the reach website? out. So yeah. the web the website to see to check out the Dallas retreat again is workfromanywheretour.com slash Dallas. I also want to say special thanks to Carmen and Ned, Amy. I was gonna say Carmen and Lancy. Carmen and Amy for joining me. I am so excited. They they are the reason why I am able to do what I do and bring the work from anywhere tour to you. So I thank you, ladies, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to join us tomorrow. We'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place. And tomorrow. Same channel. Yay! <laughs> See you later, ladies. Bye. Alrighty. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.